What's the most challenging aspect of being a lineman? Man, one of the most, one of the most, there's a lot. One of the most challenging aspects of being a lineman is for me anyways, was being separated from my family for long distances of time, uh, long distances of time. Um, it's one of the toughest things to be separated from the ones you love. Uh, but if you have a purpose and you have a reason for doing it, it does make it better. So it's gotta be one of the hardest things. What is the most important safety tip for linemen? I don't know if it's the most important, but this is definitely, definitely one to keep in front of brain all the time. Keep your fingers inside the bucket. Don't curl your fingers on the outside of the bucket. Uh, if you do, you might lose them. What's the most interesting or unique thing you've seen on the job? All right, believe it or not, I, I grew up in a small town in, uh, in central British Columbia, often work in very, very rural environments. Uh, so I was out working on this little trouble call way away from town, way out in the boonies. And I was at the single phase pole with a single phase transformer, some random person's house that nobody lived there. And I was just refusing a cutout, uh, the transformer cutout. And I look off into the field and what do I see just right across the field in front of me was a wolf chasing a moose. It sounds very Canadian, but I swear to God it was happening. I looked down at my foreman and I'm like, do you see what's happening in the field right now? And he was already looking at it too, just with eyes wide open, like, wow. Yeah, no, can't believe it. So there you go, wolf chasing a moose. What inspired you to become a lineman? The thing that inspired me or the person that inspired me to become a lineman was most, most definitely my father. My father was a lineman. I grew up around line work. It was my dad, hands down. What advice would you give someone considering a career as a lineman? Um, just get your foot in the door. So many people get caught up in all these things like union, non-union, utility, contractor, blah, blah, blah. Just whatever allows you to get through the door and in, in the door, whatever allows you to get into the room at the table, choose that option and then worry about all the rest after that. What's the most valuable tool in a lineman's toolbox? One of the most valuable tools that you own in your toolkit is the PPE that you wear. And it's often the first thing to get neglected or overlooked, but it's there for a reason. It's the boots that you wear. It's the FR clothing that we put on our bodies and zip right up to the top. It's the eyeglasses, the hard hat, the helmet, whatever you're wearing, hands down 100%, wear your PPE. It'll save your life. What's the most rewarding aspect of being a lineman? I think for me, all I have is a story. So this story, it's a, it's, it's a group of stories that lead into your life essentially. But one story in particular that I remember was being in the middle of nowhere on a transmission line. Uh, we had just got placed on the top of a steel lattice tower by a helicopter, me and a bunch of the guys I was working with. The helicopter took off and it's nothing but mountains and silence. No chopper noise, no trucks running, no city, no, no nothing. Just you and your bros sitting at the top of the tower, just looking at the scenery going, wow, this really sucks, eh? <laughs> So for me, that's the most like rewarding spot was the places that you got to go, the people you got to hang out with and the cool jobs you got to do. Do you prefer working in rural or urban areas and why? Each place is unique. Uh, I like rural because you can often shut all the equipment off and you have some silence and you have some peace during the day to think or just like be, take a break. Uh, in the city, you don't really get that. But the city is cool in itself because it's always got something going on. There's always a vibe. There's always something happening. So um, I like cities too. So this one's a tough one for me. I got to go with both. What's your favorite outdoor activity to do in your free time? This is an activity that I don't get out to do that often. Uh, I'm not on the tools anymore as a lineman. So I really got to fill that void of climbing tall things. So I climb frozen waterfalls. I love ice climbing. Every winter I get out two or three times a year to go smash some ice and climb some frozen waterfalls. That's one of my favorite things to do. All right, I think that was super fun. If you guys wanna answer some of these questions, I'd love to hear some of your answers. 
leave them in the comments or the DMs. Yeah, love to hear some of your answers to some of these uh, questions. Super fun. Later. <laughs>